about it, this. <clears throat> I don't even know what name to call you. I have to get up nerve just to call your name. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Sometimes I think me believing in you just wasn't meant to be. Just a few years ago, I, I had a hand in your crucifixion. And now I'm here calling out to you. And then again, maybe it's a good thing I'm bad at this. After everything I did, how could I possibly be one of yours? the chariot. I did it yesterday. <laughs> Marcus, wake up! Relax! Relax! I'm so sorry to wake you. How did you get in here? I could explain, but let's just say I'm here to see you. Me. Yes, you, Marcus. We knew each other well. It was only brief, but we knew each other. Uh, you're the guy. The guy, yeah. The guy. Mm. Yeah. The guy. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the guy. You're the guy. Uh, nice to see you again, uh, guy. You don't recognize me, do you? Oh, I'm bad with names. And faces. And faces. I'm bad with a lot of things these days. I get the feeling you're not just talking about faces and names. Tell me why you're here again. Marcus, do you consider yourself a bad man? Friend, I'm a, I'm a centurion. And nobody messes with us. We, more or less, people showing up at our homes in the middle of the night, unannounced. I mean you no harm. That's not why I am here. Besides me, there will be two other visitors whom you will see tonight. I am the first visitor. I think it's time for you to leave. It's okay. I know what you did. I know how that memory has made it hard for you. I want to help. How do you know how I feel? We all have passed, my friend. And I'm just ashamed of my transgressions as you are for yours. What did you do? I was dishonorable. I disguised my family and myself as a thief. A simple thief? You could hardly know what I've done. Friend, you don't have a clue. I've killed a great many people. And, that, and one of them may have been the Son of God. Now, I don't want to minimize what you've done, but that's hardly comparable to stealing something in the marketplace. I know that my transgressions are nothing compared to yours. But in the sight of Jesus Christ, all of our sins are the same. He endured the crucifixion so that we all may be saved. Even the worst person that you can imagine, their sins are covered under the blood of Jesus Christ. I am the worst person 
I could imagine. After all I've done, how could God love me? Mom, I don't need a bath. I took one three weeks ago. Seems silly when you put it that way. Well, I should hope so, Marcus. There's nothing stronger or more true than a parent's love for a child. I had a child once, and he was murdered. But I forgave the person responsible. And that's just me. Imagine how eager God is to forgive you. Because not only is he generous and loving, but he sees you as one of his children. Marcus, God forgives you, and he wants to love you like the child of his that you are. Can't you see that? Seeing is one thing, but believing, now that's something entirely else. dress toga. You brought me my, my casual toga. I need my, my dress toga. Marcus, wake up. I gotta put a lock on that front door. <laughs> I'm your third and final visitor for the night. Thank goodness. Jordan, <coughs> you like to call see him in here. You don't recognize me, do you? Recognition isn't my strongest suit. Obviously. So, uh, what, what can I do for you? Marcus, I'm hoping it's what I can do for you. I'm a centurion. I doubt there's anything significant that you could do for me. I can set you free. I hardly think that's possible. Marcus, your heart is being crushed by the lie that you're not good enough. And your soul is weighed down by guilt. Isn't that right? Um, you're not far off. Marcus, what is crushing your heart and weighing down your soul? What, what's the source of your guilt and anguish? I killed Christ. 
crucified. I crucified Christ. Now, I didn't shout support, and I wasn't in the back of it, but I did it with my own hands. I put the nails in his hands. I put the crown of thorns on his head. I taunted him with my fellow centurions as they went by. I literally killed Jesus. Marcus, you didn't kill me. You simply fulfilled a part of a plan that was designed for you before you were even born. What do you mean? You don't, you don't recognize me, do you? You talk as if you were the one hanging on that cross. Wait, wait. You are. You are Jesus. Marcus, stand up. I am he. My plan was to forgive you before you even sought my forgiveness. In fact, We all forgive you. <clears throat> this man was with me when I was crucified. He was crucified also. And he repented. And now he's with me every day in paradise. And you know what? He forgives you too. Or he forgives you. He forgives you. And you know what? He forgives you. Marcus, this is my mother, Mary. She watched me die. She saw your involvement in it. You know what? She forgives you also. Marcus, you are loved. You're forgiven. You are worthy. Don't let these nails bind you any longer. I need some scroll paper. How can I do my homework if there isn't any scroll paper? <clears throat> what a wonderful dream. But yet it was so real <coughs> and so encouraging. <coughs> Lord, I thank thee for such a rich and reassuring dream. I thank thee for the love and the hope and the forgiveness in the midst of awful <coughs> and terrible <coughs> things. Why don't I get a piece of scroll paper and... Bind you any longer. 